Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 7 of In Harm's Way Plays All the Mods 3. Yesterday we did a little exploring and after I let you guys all go yesterday I built the quantum bag and the digging backpack. The digging backpack's nice because it picks up anything that is not... It'll pick up dirt, it'll pick up like this cobble Notice it's not in my inventory, but it's in that digging backpack. So, I like it. Um, still haven't done a lot as far as inventory goes for us. I did update to some small storage crates. Started filling this up. I went down and got more sand down there. Started growing a couple of trees out here growing some spruces over here so that I can get spruce wood got birches here what I'd like to do today is go take out that pirate ship let's go see what's in it to do that we're gonna need our boat I didn't put a boat in here did I I didn't maybe I should Anyway, I don't know what time it is. Looks like it's starting to get dark. Yep, it's about sunset. So before we actually go all the way over, let's take our sleeping bag out. I don't like that I keep doing that. Anyway, we'll take our sleeping bag out and as the sun sets... Oh, it's not quite there. Let's start walking. Or... I almost, I almost just jumped. I was like, okay, we'll just go down. The problem with that would have been... There's a long way to go. Down. Alright, so let's head for the pirate ship. It'll get dark while we're out. That's okay. We'll land. We'll sleep. We'll actually go take out the pirate ship. That sound like a plan? I hope so, because that's what we're going to do. As I'm watching the land on either side come up, it makes me wonder which way I should go. I think that's the way we went last time. Didn't we kill a uh, Ender men over here somewhere? Pretty sure we did. figures. That's not a way around, it's just a cove. Straight up dark. I love that we have infinite shurikens. And head straight ish for the pirate ship now. Maybe not. Probably gonna have to go around some land. I didn't realize it was that far away from us. I didn't realize we had explored that far away from home.
but we must have. While I'm thinking about it, if you guys are liking the videos, go ahead and hit that like button. Dadgummit. Oh, he didn't blow up my boat. I thought he would blow up my boat. I was going to go that way, but now I'm not. What I do want to do is see what I'm lacking. I'm lacking protein and veggies. So, protein and veggies. That should be both of them. It is. All we need now is to get a cow. And once we do, we should get everything. We should have everything. I didn't feel like going all the way around this time. Okay, there's our pirate ship. We don't have anybody out here coming after us. find ourselves some land, take a nap, and then take out the pirates during the daytime. Don't want anybody to get sick. Hopefully there's still pirates on this. There are. So let's see if we can take these pirates out. Okay, so how do we get up there? I didn't bring any blocks with. That's not true, I kind of did. I've got some cobblestone eight of them. I can use this to climb the ship. That's going to be a lot of them. Oh look, they aggroed on me. Nice. Well good, that's two of them. Get out of the boat. Okay, that's two of them. Are they all getting in the water? They are. How come they don't have... Or how come they have... Just 
take this stuff down. I will use it to go back up. Don't need that one there. Don't need that one there. Don't need that one there. Okay. I think that was the Captain Pirate. Oh. Did I kill Polly? Okay, so now we've got a pirate ship. Oh look, there's still some inside here. So I'm wondering how many more are down there. Well, it doesn't look like any. Okay, so let's see what all they left me. I don't know that I really need the cobwebs. Or the sword. And supposedly, yeah, the last one of these that I was on... I made the mistake of just hitting the button. Yeah. You guys don't want to do that. I mean, it's cool because it fires the cannon, but... It's also not cool because you lose the... The fire charges. Some TNT. Some gold. Some gunpowder. Several beds. I'm wondering if I should just stip, strip... Stip. Wow been a long day for me guys wonder if I should just strip the entire ship take all the beds I don't I don't know what I would do with them but the dispensers might come in handy for nothing else but the dispensers might come in handy for you know like a recipe at some point I think that I'll t strip that. I think I'll take them. And any other plunder that we can find in the chests. I think in the way that this is set up is that each chest belonged to a pirate kind of thing. That sounded an awful lot like baby zombies. Another boat. That's not bad. More TNT. Those are zombies. Is it night out? Oh, it's still daytime. This ship was not as much of a uh, difficulty as I thought it would be between our sword and our shurikens. We pretty took. We pretty well took care of it. I am hearing a baby zombie. Why? We checked both of these, right? Okay. You know what? I can always use chests, too. It's too bad we can't 
sail these ships because that would be cool okay there we go should I take one of the pirate flags down here and grab those and then get back in our our little boat and sort through all our stuff well I mean not sort through it but put it away a couple iron swords we should be able to get one good iron sword out of that and maybe smelt it um, let's put this back in our digging bag and our digging bag back up here alright so that's a pirate ship uh, we took it over pretty easily since we're out here let's take it off of the list and let's keep going this way for a little bit see if we can see a I think this is, yes it is, uh, uh, yeah, I forgot what these are called. Uh, a shoggoth? Is that what these guys are called? Look at how many of those guys are coming, too. Yeah, let's get the heck out of here. Oh. Lesser Shargath. Okay, well. Bummer. It's quite a, quite a far ways for us to go. But. We have the wood. And I'm not going to make you guys watch me do it. But I will go pick up my stuff. And I'll be right back. Alright everybody, we're back. Uh, as you can see, I was here before and died again. So, <laughs> I, I got over here. I picked up my stuff. I started dropping torches. And the next thing you knew, there were stuff everywhere I mean everywhere okay so throw that out I had a witch I had all kinds of stuff coming after me so can Shogas survive water that's my question because I'm seriously considering opening that up. Listen to him. So pickaxe. If they can, if they can't come after me, then maybe I can take them out. Because I understand there's some good stuff in there, right? I mean, I don't know. So take away our deaths. Alright, so they can survive water. I don't know what that is they keep throwing at me, but... He's got quite a bit of health. Alright, but that's one down. 
abysmal craft stuff. Alright, so let's take... Okay. <laughs> kind of scared me. Monolith stone. I don't think we pretty much took any of it, did we? There's quite a number of them in there, and my... You know what, let's go over here. I'll leave the stuff that we've got up over here. Grab what we can from the stuff that we shot. I don't think we explored this one, did we? Sounds like it's a witch, though. was a witch. Alright, so I'm not going to eat in here because that'll just mess stuff up. Take that out. Wow. This has got quite a bit of stuff in it. Nuke virus. Man, see, I don't know what some of this stuff is. We'll just take it all and sort it later. Don't turn it on take it apart. Premium hungry one... I don't... Sp oh, a spawner seeker. I saw somebody in a... in a previous playthrough of this actually try and make one of those. So... Put some of this stuff away. Actually, <laughs> I don't know why I'm, I'm trying to pick and choose. Just to put it all away. Grab some of that, some of that, and some of that. Because we're out of everything. Okay, so we'll start with the fruit. Since it won't let me keep eating fruit once I've filled up. See? Then we'll go to the vegetable. eat a couple of those. Then the protein. A couple of those. Then the bread. Or the grain. Then we'll put it all back. I don't think we need three boats. Let's just take one. What do you guys say? Well, I got an archaic brick because one of the things I killed was a... Uh, Ancient Golem. What did I have here? Had a food item there, didn't I? Yeah, the beef. We ate all the beef? Oh, no, we didn't. It's right there. Okay. Alright, so. Let's explore around this place just a little bit. See if there is a village nearby. Golden Raspberry. But I can't pick it. See, there's another golem. Another ancient golem. Hopefully this doesn't crash. Okay. That sounded good. Almost like this has zombies in it. Ah, oh, that was why that one took so long. It does have zombies in it. Oh, look at that. I can kill him without killing myself. Ok, 
Okay, I'm gonna guess that there's probably a spawner in here. Let's keep these handy. I don't see any trip wires. Let's light that up. Yep, there was a spawner down there. That's a trap chest, though. Huh. Now, I've come across one of these before, but when I went in it, it didn't keep going down. Is there anything under here? Any, like... It's a trap door. And an oak chest. How about that? Oh look, the ender. Quark runes. A heart container. Some refined iron. Looks like we, uh, got some cool stuff in here. Okay. So, are these trapped? That one wasn't. Alright, so let's do the... Put some of this stuff away. I don't know why I'm keeping everything, but... I will sort it all when we get back to the house. A steadfast drone, a rod of elevation. Teleport yourself or the target up to the nearest surface above. That would be pretty cool. Techno magical marvel machine upgrade. Premium insatiable, incredibly hot, incredibly hungry. Premium villainous wonder capacitor. Wow. That was quite a bit. Another ender, some dark steel, stop worm, and prospector detects ores in a straight line. Huh. Well, that's pretty cool. Oh, nighttime. Alright. Let's put some stuff away. I'm going to have to empty this bag again. So that wasn't too bad. I don't like stepping out of stuff like this and then hitting or getting hit by like a creeper or something. Alright, so there's stuff in the trees. I'm wondering, you know, I've, I, whoa, look, reindeer, venison, see if we can take one out, there we go, add to our meat types, there's another home over there, Let's take care of Mr. Creeper. I don't care about spiders during daytime. You know, live and let live, all that good jazz. This one sounds like a zombie. It is. There we go. All right, we'll add another to the wall there. Iridium shard, mixed metal ingot. Pick 
of the zombie spawner because we may have to repurpose spawners later. I mean, have to is probably not the right word. But we may end up repurposing spawners later. It's probably a better way of saying it. Okay, we pretty much filled that bag. That's a cool bag. Maybe I need one more. I used to do put bags of holdings in bags of holdings or, or backpacks in backpacks in backpacks and I would just have like five backpacks all nested in each other. Alright, so we know where the, the Shogoth is and at some point we're probably going to have to go in there and kill stuff. So let's set a beacon up. for here where it is I probably spelled that wrong but we'll put that there for now it doesn't need to be on right now but we'll put it there and I want to go home but I want to go a different route than we came so we came around from that side so let's try going this way to get back and see what we find. It's a big old world. Maybe we'll find some cool stuff. Although I'm kind of sad because we don't have any more space in our bag. Really, really might want to have to get a new one. But I'm the same guy, kind of guy, who builds a uh, ender chest hooked into his ME system and takes an ender backpack and throws everything in the backpack. So everything just ends up in the system. This waterfall looks cool. That waterfall is cool. What is that up here to our left? Is it just the terrain? Or are those buildings? It's just the terrain, okay. Hopefully this allows us to go out somewhere. Oh, uh, more deer. Oh, it doesn't let us go out. Alright, so we have to go back around. Hope that deer is able to get out of the water. We already have one of these coconuts back at the house. I, uh, the Terra Aquarium mod? Uh, oh, well, I'm sorry. The Terraqueous, Terraqueous mod? It's got some pretty cool stuff in it. I'm not seeing a village. I'm hoping at some point we're able to start going back around the other direction. Because, man, this seems to be taking us a little bit out of our way. Not, not necessarily a bad thing, but... You know, home's in that direction. Another bay. Should tear down the pirate ship and come rebuild it right there in the bay call it Pirate's Bay. No? Okay. It was worth a shot. These trees. 
I've gotten a couple of new dogs too. Fur wood. I don't think we have any of this. Let's. Get, they're pretty tall. Maybe I shouldn't cut one down. Do we have any bones? We have 38 bones. Think we should tame more dogs? Probably not, huh? Wonder what this tree is? Paw paw. Okay. Never had that fruit. All right. So work our way around here. See if we can go inland at all. I mean, not inland, but see if there's rivers cutting through it. I don't use boats much, so in case you guys were wondering why I can't drive the boat very well, that's why. You see all of them kind of that was like synchronized squids. Alright, so now it seems like we're getting closer. Man, some of this land is really cool looking. cave. We're not going to get too close to it. I don't want to end up in it. See if this cuts through. Nope. It doesn't. Caught that on the mini map. Another one? Yeah, we're not even going to go close enough for that for them to start breeding or aggroing or whatever it is that they do. We'll go around that. It's funny because I look at the mini map and we're above ground right now, so we see everything that's above ground, right? And then I see stuff like really dark objects or really light objects and I'm wondering what those are and then I recall that there's a bunch of floating islands out here alright so we've made it a little bit closer but there's still a big area we're gonna have to go around That looks familiar. That big old silver maple tree. Or silver wood tree. Is it sunset? It is sunset. We do not want to be... Let us f sleep. Because... But it... Okay. So it won't be that long. There we go. I realize we can only sleep at night, but... I don't want to be out again another night out while we're still looking for home. Which this... Loamy grass, nice. Ooh, maybe this river will get us home. Okay, maybe not. But, looks like we can go around here. And we should start seeing our resident. There it is. Sorry about that. It's my upstairs neighbor. It sounded like they were falling on the floor, didn't it? 
Okay, so we made it back. I almost said we kind of made it back, but we didn't kind of make it back. We made it back. Kind of looking forward to getting the rest of the levels here torn out and so that we can actually get closer to... Oh, really? Where is he? Up there. <laughs> like I said, I'm kind of looking forward to getting the rest of our levels taken care of a couple at a time so that we can have more space just go straight out to the ocean okay so let's grab 18 rutile that's not going to do let's do silver throw it in let it work and start going through our stuff one of the things that I'm thinking is there a chest to crate conversion? That's what this is, right? Chest to storage crate upgrade. That requires us to build a storage crate. And a storage crate requires four chests. So why not just, since I have all of this wood casing that I got at the village, why not just build chests? Let's see, I got 10 of them here. We need some wood. We can use some spruce for it as well. Because it doesn't really matter what wood we use. Alright, so we need that. So make us two. And those two can replace these two. So let's put our boat away. And let's break this. Where are they? Right there. Okay. So we put one of the crates down because they really do hold more and we fill it up with more than the stuff that was in it I think this was in a different one I've, I'm not very well organized right now but that's not unusual I don't tend to truly organize especially like crates and stuff like that you know I, I, I watch a lot of youtubers playing Minecraft and I know that Direwolf has this this is for this this is for this he does that on all of his stuff he's got a miscellaneous crate he's got a but I I, I don't know at some point I might do that but right this second probably not so for those four that gives us another one and I can actually I can do this off camera I don't have to do this now but that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna swap all of these out for ones that are Wow okay so let's get some dirt <laughs> and let's build there so that we can There we go. So that when I break this, all of the cobble doesn't just fall. That's the thing, though. Is that going to be hidden by the dirt? It pretty much is. So I'm not going to 
I am going to put these. That's the other thing about crates, is that I can put crates like that and just keep filling them. I can, I can have them all next to each other and nobody's going to care. I'm going to want that to fill the dirt back in. All right, so that's <laughs> all 15 slots. I was wondering if that was going to happen. I, I didn't think about it until after I was moving it. There was, hey, you know, did that fill up? It sure did. Okay, so we took out the pirate's den. We got some pirate stuff. We'll hang the pirate flag because we can right there because we took out the pirate ship. So I'm going to do some mining between episodes or some more mining I should say. I don't think I can do anything with the rutile, with the rutile, the black quartz or the cinnabar. I'm pretty sure the cinnabar just becomes quicksilver so I should be able to put these through though. Boron, magnesium, and aluminum. And as you can see, you know, we're we're slowly building up our amount of stuff. And we will continue to as as I keep working it. Um one of the goals that I have, I've I've increased the size of this a little bit. out here and the one below it and I'm slowly but surely smelting and putting in the glass for that one I'm thinking that if I take out these glasses and I make the little arches if you will like I did in that that I can take it all the way out and we can have pretty much house with levels like that all the way down to you know all the way down all the way down to the the sand out there all the way down to sea level tell me what you guys think you know let me know because if that's something that I should be working on then that's something that I'll work on and uh, otherwise I'm going down to our level 10 mine down there and I'm working down there so that's what I've been doing in between episodes recently so I will update our storage with the bigger solution because these crates are awesome and if I decide to move, one of the cool things, one of the other cool things about these crates is that there is a crate keeper. You put this in it and you can pick the crate up and the crate does not lose its inventory. And that's the end of today. If you guys liked the episode, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. And consider subscribing. If you guys subscribe, hit that notification bell. I make videos every day um, Minecraft mostly but I do World of Warships one day a week so that's that's what I've got going on and I will see you guys next time this has been in harm's way have a great day bye bye